Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make some chicken nacho poppers. These are perfect appetizers or finger food for game night. Now, there's a few steps to creating these tasty handheld treats. So sit back, grab a drink, and let's get into it. To make this recipe, you're gonna need some cooked chicken. Now, I already have some cooked rotisserie chook, about two and a half cups. To that, I'm gonna add 250 grams of spreadable cream cheese. Next up, three cups of a blended cheese. All of it. Then half a cup of finely diced red capsicum and half a cup of finely diced green capsicum and three tablespoons of chopped parsley and around half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce just to help it all stick together. Now get your hands in there and mix this all up. Now you can just transfer this to a baking paper lined tray and then just level it out. And now we can pop this into the freezer for an hour just to let it stiffen up a bit. We are gonna coat our chicken before we cook it. We'll need a flour base. Start with one cup of plain flour. Add one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and two tablespoons of smoked paprika. And mix that up thoroughly. We need to make an egg wash now. Oh, or could whistle. So crack open four eggs and put the internal contents of each one into a bowl. We won't be needing the shells for this recipe. Add two tablespoons of milk and whisk it up. I know what you're thinking to yourself. He said nacho at the start of this video and I've not seen one corn chip yet. Wait no longer. We're about to corn chip this recipe to the next level. Now I like to use two 170 gram bags of Doritos. Doesn't matter what flavor and I'll put them into a food processor. And add in four tablespoons of your desired barbecue rub. And today I'm choosing four monkeys chicken rub just to boost the flavor in this crunchy coating. Now make some crumbs. How simple was that? Nearly as simple as giving this video a thumbs up. So it's been an hour, the chicken mix has hardened up. So now we can get it out of that pan. And that's why we lined the bottom of the pan with baking paper, just to make your life easier. You're welcome. Now using a sharp knife, we're going to cut the slab of chicken into squares. Now cut these into triangles, and they're gonna be the perfect appetizer size. Surely by now you've subscribed to the channel, and while you're there, you might as well hit that bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Now set up your coating station all in a line. This can get messy, but there's an easy way to do it. We're gonna coat all the chicken pieces in the flour and put them onto a plate first. So just in, shake off the excess. We wanna work fairly quickly because we don't want this mixture to warm up. That's the flour done. Now using one hand, put the chicken pieces into the egg wash Allow the excess to drain off. Use the same hand to put the piece into the Dorito mix. Put a little bit of pressure on. And then that goes on to a tray lined with baking paper. And the same again. Don't cross the hands over and you, and you won't get too much of a mess. And again, we want to work pretty quickly with this. Now we can just place the tray of chicken nacho poppers into the fridge until the barbecue is ready. I need a high indirect heat today. So I'm gonna be using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm gonna be pairing it up with a kettle cone. This is going to allow me to get temps of 240 degrees Celsius and above. So start off by placing the kettle cone in the center of the charcoal grate and then three quarter filling a chimney starter of briquettes, lighting it up. Once they're all ashed over, dump them into that kettle cone. Then put our grill in place, put the lid on, and make sure all the vents are wide open. Now I'm gonna give the grill 10 minutes to warm up. We are cooking with a high indirect heat today of 240 degrees Celsius and above. This cook will only take 30 minutes. Or well, for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Cheers. 
The barbecue is ready, so we can now get these chicken nacho poppers on the grill. Just place them around the outer edge, leaving a little space in between each one, just for some airflow. Just put the lid back on and wait. Now this is a great time to share this video with a mate. That way they could make these for you while you sit back and have a couple of drinks. Cheers. The Weber lid vent creates a hot spot, so I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every 10 minutes. Time's up, we just need to get these off the heat now. And just remember, these are hot and they're full of a lot of cheese and that cheese is melted, so be warned. And just top these off with some freshly chopped parsley. Just remember, there is melted cheese in these things. That Dorito crunch doesn't fully crisp up it just sort of holds it all together. So they are a bit pliable. So maybe leave it a minute or two. Or top it with your favorite nacho toppings, bit of salsa, guacamole, bit of, bit of sour cream, and dig straight in. <laughs> Look at that. As always, cheers for watching.